other than our Lord Jesus Christ. This is Pastor Mike Salmon. I pray everyone is having a blessed day. Today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the book of Galatians and uh, we'll go ahead and read here. Um, just, just a little kind of a preview. The Galatian uh, region was uh, founded in Turkey. Let me see if I can get you uh, uh, kind of a little map here. Turkey, Galatia is, was, is mo what we call modern day Turkey. And uh, Galatia is located um, in pretty much the upper, let's see here, the upper, um, uh, what we call the, like a county or, or peninsula, uh, peninsula area. It, it's kind of like a, the, what we, again, what we call a county. So it kind of gives you a little, um, oh, well, let me see here. Uh, view image, here we go, bingo. All right, so let me give you a little uh, picture of the Galatia area. Here we go. This is what the Galatian area is. That kind of gives a little bit of Syria, and right below that is, is the Middle East, Cappadocia, and then Galatia is a whole region. You can see it's a big region. It's not, it, it wasn't something small. It was a very big region in this whole area. Uh, kind of tells you how um, uh, the Apostle Paul traveled. You can also see the other places that you'll see in the Bible, like Ephesus, Corinth is in this area here, the, but the location of Galatia is a whole county, it includes Iconium, Lystra, Derby, and many other, uh, Poseidon, Antioch area, uh, Pisidian, uh, Antioch, um, so it's, uh, it's a region, as we would call in our, our state, for example, we would call the, the Maricopa County. Now, Galatia had a problem, uh, the Galatians had to deal with uh, uh, what you would call the um, Judaizers and Judaizers were people who would come in and they would uh, talk to or, or try to convince uh, people that uh, you had to be circumcised in order for you to be saved. So let's go ahead and start reading. It says, Paul, an apostle, not from men nor through man, but through Jesus Christ and God the Father who raised him from the dead and all the brethren who are with me to the churches of Galatia. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and our Lord Jesus Christ, who gave himself for our sins, that he might deliver us from this present evil age, according to the will of God, our God and Father, to whom be glory forever and ever. Amen. So if you can take a look, just a really how the apostle opens up the greeting, not from men, nor from man, but through Jesus Christ and God the Father who raised him from the dead. This is very important because the apostle Paul was kind of making a point that, hey, I wasn't appointed by man, but God appointed me. And a lot of people take a look at what Apostle Paul, uh, who Apostle Paul was. He did not fit the criteria of the, what you would say, he didn't fit the criteria of Peter when it came down to the calling of the Apostle, which is a person who was there for the ministry of Jesus Christ. But, but the Apostle Paul says, look, I wasn't called by man. I was called by the Lord himself. That's a powerful calling. Okay? And you'll see why he'll, he'll say that, because uh, what the Galatians had to go through and how his reputation was at stake. Okay, So he goes, I marvel that you are turning away so soon from him who called you in the grace of Christ to a different gospel, which is not another. In other words, it's not another gospel. Okay, it's, And gospel means good news. Okay, But you're turning to a different gospel. It's not another but there are some who trouble you and want to pervert the gospel of Christ. They want to, they want to take away, pervert the gospel of Christ. They want to take away the, the blessings of knowing Jesus Christ and how important it is to know Christ. It says, but even if we or an angel from heaven, this is pretty neat because we get a lot of people who say that, well, I believe what I believe and I do this and I, and I stand for God. Uh, and I know what I, what I believe, even though it's contrary to the Bible, they say, they say because an angel visited me, or I had a vision, or whatever it is. If the vision or anything is contrary to the gospel that's being preached, to the word of God itself, if the vision is contrary, it says, look, preach, even if we or an angel from heaven preach any other gospel to you, then what we have preached to you, let them be accursed. Okay, this is powerful. Let them be accursed. Let them be damn, we, we do not trust or believe in this stuff, okay? As we have said before, so now I say again, if anyone preaches any other gospel to you, then what you have received, let him be accursed. For do I now persuade men or God? Or do I seek to please men? 
if I still pleased men, I would not be a bond servant of Christ. And the and he and the Apostle Paul is saying very strong words in this, saying, "Hey, I am not pleasing man; I'm pleasing God. So anyone preaches any other thing than that which we have taught you, let him be a curse. I'm not here to please men; I'm here to please God." He says, "If I'm doing things to please men, then there is no way I can be a bond servant of Christ." Okay, and that's a, that's a big thing here because a lot of people have to make a decision whether or not they're going to serve God or they're going to serve Christ. Or, I mean, God or they're going to serve men. A lot of bad decisions are made because of the pressures of men. So we'll go on. He says, But I make known to you, brethren, that the gospel which was preached by you or preached by me is not according to man. Okay, he's saying, what I, The good news I gave you is not from man. But he says, For I neither received it from man nor was I taught it, but it came through the revelation of of Jesus Christ. Wow. In other words, the good news you received came directly from Christ himself. The Apostle Paul, when he came to Christ, when he received the teachings of the Lord Jesus Christ, he did not get them being taught by Peter or, or any John or any of the apostles, but rather Jesus took time through the Holy Spirit to teach Paul the revelation, the gospel. That is powerful, folks. Very powerful. For you have heard of my former conduct in Judaism, how I pers persecuted the church of God beyond measure, and I tried to destroy it. So he's going about to tell you, like, all this stuff, you've heard what I, what I did to the church. And I advanced in Judaism beyond many of my contemporaries in my own nation, being more exceedingly zealous for the traditions of my father. So this is, this is a very strong testimony, saying, look, I... I wasn't taught by man. I mean, I was so strong in Judaism that I killed Christians. I killed them. I was zealous. I persecuted the church. Something had to change me, and it wasn't man that changed me. Something had to come in and change me. Okay. So then he goes on. He says, but, I love this, but when it pleased God, who separated me from my mother's womb, and called me through his grace to reveal his son in me that I might preach him among the Gentiles. And a Gentile is important. Gentile, if you are not a Jew, a Gentile is a non-Jew. A non-Jew is a Gentile. So a non-Jew is a Gentile. Uh, so the Apostle Paul was called to preach him, who's that? This is Jesus, among the Gentiles. I did not immediately confer with flesh and blood. In other words, I did not go, I did not go to um, go to Peter. Okay, he did not go to Peter or any other of the apostles. Okay, he says neither, nor did I go to Jerusalem to to those. Okay, to those who were apostles uh, before me. But I went where to Arabia and returned again to Damascus. So he went, he was taught directly by God. The Lord taught him everything that he needed to, to, to believe and to teach. And this is very important because the gospel, the word of God, which we have received, which is the New Testament, is, is a majority of that was written by the Apostle Paul. And uh, we can be assured that what Apostle Paul taught was not a manly doctrine. It was not a ta doctrine taught by man. It was not by the traditions of men, but Christ himself. He says, but then after three years I went up to Jerusalem to see Peter and remained with him 15 days. But when I saw none of the other apostles, said, but I saw none of the other apostles except James, the Lord's brother. Okay, and this means his actual brother, actual brother. And James was the actual brother of Jesus Christ. He was the, um, he became the bishop, the first bishop of the church in Antioch or in Jerusalem. And then later into Antioch. Okay, now he says, now concerning the things which I write to you, indeed before God, I do not lie. Afterwards, I went to the regions of Syria and Sicilia, uh, Cilicia, and I was unknown by face to the churches of Judea, which are in Christ. But they were hearing only that he who formerly persecuted us now preaches the faith, which he once tried to destroy, and they glorified God in me. This, folks, is a miracle. This is a miracle. Because only God can change a person's life to a point where you were killing Christians, you go from killing Christians to now believing in the Lord Jesus Christ and teaching the gospel. Um, now, let's move on to uh, chapter 2, Galatians.